Hey everybody, this is DG. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a bucket Minecraft server that is externally hosted. I suggest Fragnet, but there are several other hosting sites you can find. I find that this is cheap and provides quality service and feedback. So what you're going to want to do is go down to our services, game servers, scroll down to Minecraft, and as you can see, your Minecraft server is going to be based on RAM. The cost is going to be based on RAM. So you're going to go ahead and order. You can look at all the prices and keep in mind that these are in euros. And basically, a US dollar is worth a lot less than one full euro. So, one gigabyte of RAM is about 12 euros a month, which translates to about 15, 16 dollars. Now, if you're just starting out and you just want to server for your friends, I suggest you just get this one. It's a measly 10 euros a month. So you go ahead and order that and make sure you enter your email and you go to your email and it'll send you a link with your server IP. If you'd like to figure out how to change that, you're going to have to look elsewhere. But it's going to provide you with a MC My Admin. Now, to get here, I'll show you in a little bit but now you go to cp.fragnet.net it's gonna have you log in with the credentials it has given you it'll all be in the email go to your game servers and it should be running right now and as you can see mine is this is the IP and I've simply uh, ch ordered the uh, default port and I have went to GoDaddy and I bought a um, a domain name host basically and I changed the A record to host this uh, IP so now I can connect to this IP using that external IP alright anyways if you want to set it up as a bucket server you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on MC My Admin, which I have right here and it'll bring you to this screen and as you can see it'll tell you everything I have 8 out of 100 people online RAM usage is pretty high but that's because I'm running a lot of plugins what you're going to want to do is go to configuration and go to server settings and it might not be server settings let me see is it features mm, game settings mm, hmm, hmm. Uh, it's server type it, yeah it's server settings I was right the first time so what you want to do once you have it all set up and you've started it and your server works you can connect to it you go ahead and click on craft bucket and install and if it's not the latest version you want to go back to fragnet and go to game updates and you can go ahead and update to the development build and uh, for example we're in 1.6.2 right now we just updated and my server is in 1.6.2 because I'm using the development build I would not be able to use that otherwise alright go ahead and easily set up all your preferences through here as you can see through MC My Admin, and then what you want to do if you're uh, using Bucket, you can do this two ways. I suggest the second way, but it's more of a hassle. But to install plugins, you go to Configuration and Plugins, and you can click Install Plugins. You search plugins, but you won't always find the plugins you're looking for. So if you need something like Essentials, you can either go and install game mods right here or you can go download it yourself so when you download it yourself you'll have the jar file and you want to go into file manager and then click your way through the folders it's first minecraft and then I believe plugins is immediately after it so you can see all my worlds here you go to plugins and then you click upload to whatever you want to upload and then I'll have you go through the directory and then just upload the jar and then either do a reload in your server or restart it. Restarting is suggested they're actually thinking of removing the reload um, command because it's so unstable. Alright and once you've done that and you've installed the plugin you just uh, restart the server like I said and that'll generate the files that you need. See here's essentials say I went through those steps here's all of the stuff you need and if you want to edit the config you just click edit under action and I'll show you all the stuff you can edit alright now I'm gonna go ahead and include another bonus here 
because I had some trouble myself with doing this. I actually already made a video about this, but I'm going to go ahead and go over it again. Now, permissions. Permissions are really hard to handle from MC My Admin, and it's not suggested that you use it. As you can see, I don't have exporting configured. I'm sorry if that's bright and you can't read it. But I did initially set up my groups here. So what I did was I set up all my groups and all the permissions I wanted to go with it. And let's see, where are we? So here's the default group that people join in. It's now Grunt because I changed it a long time ago, but I haven't messed with this. So what you want to do is set up all your permissions. You can find, see, Essentials Permissions. Just Google it. If you can't figure anything out, just Google it. Essentials Permissions, and you'll go click the command reference and say you want people to be able to use slash God for God mode. You just give them this permission. And if you want to get them to be able to give God mode to others, use that permission. All right. So once you have all of that set up, you're going to go ahead and go to configuration, server settings, maybe. Uh, let's see. It's features. It's under features. All right. So you go to permissions exporting mode and okay I may have skipped one little step nothing to freak out about so keep in mind where we're at right now I suggest you download permissions X it's a permissions plugin that allows you to go through and do these permissions so install this the same way you did essentials and then once it's installed you've restarted or reloaded go to permissions exporting mode and go to permissions X and then it'll export and it'll give you a little update here that it said it's exported and everything and then after you've reloaded your server again you can go ahead and go back to configuration and then go to features again and turn permissions exporting back to none this is very important because if you make changes in game to your permissions file this every now and then is going to reset everything because you didn't update it through here so what you want to do is set that to none and then you can go ahead and go in game here alright this, this might take a second to load 1.6 just came out I'm so happy I've already added horses to my server alright come on pal alright so you can go ahead and go in game and I've set up a few aliases that's another plugin command or plugin that I've installed but I'm gonna show you the uh, the commands that I've shown. My server IP is nvb.com if you want to check it out. Alright. So, as you can see, T. Coisenberry has fly, but he's not supposed to anymore. And I'm being completely honest right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do pex user T. Coisenberry group remove fly. And now he's out of fly, and his prefix will show as the rank he was before which I believe he was a swordsman now we got this guy sitting right here and he's looking mighty fine and if I wanted to give this guy or if he donated and I wanted to give him say another rank like footman which is the one dollar donator rank it's extremely expensive I know I'd go pex user e seal I think group add footman but I'm not gonna do that right now alright now then you have your server you can build and I suggest you get world guard because world guard and world edit because you wanna protect most of the stuff you have alright so you have your server everything set up and now you wanna make donations alright well I'm gonna go ahead and show you the donator perks of my server by going through here and that was another plugin that world portal that's called multiverse so just go ahead and use this and here's another plugin so much fun bucket is <laughs> Smeagol no that that's uh... that's that Star Wars guy I don't watch Star Wars I'm, I'm sorry okay so this is another plugin I can just click the sign and that goes to bycraft alright so when I type slash by it sets up 
all the things that I would that I may like to pay for it shows me the prices and I can just go buy zero for footman and then it'll generate a link for me I can click on that immediately and then I can go ahead and agree and pay immediately and I will get my perks immediately so when I'm on if somebody wants to donate I can be a billion miles away and still accept that donation and give them all the benefits they need so I don't need to maintain the server the uh, the server it's everybody's dream right alright so to do that what you want to do <laughs> you saw T. Koisenberry he was screaming no my fly no so what you want to do is go to buycraft.net and this will cost you a little bit of money I believe it's about five bucks a month maybe so you're gonna click register and register it up or you can do the trial which is three days not worth it you can continue using the trial but it only offers three packages but I'm gonna go ahead and log in to my account oh no that's not the password there we are alright and then you go ahead and once you're signed in you have paid for everything you can go ahead and click content add a package and here are all my packages and just for fun I'll go through another one this will be the super awesome rank of godliness you get super awesome god powers so this is the description that's gonna show them all how to well what you're paying for essentially which is kind of important let's say we want it to be ten dollars um, it'll be in the ranks category and then don't require a package okay then see what you have down here is commands and after the person has paid for it you will be completely uh, you don't have to do anything basically because all the commands you put in here are the commands that it will execute so you remember the permissions commands we used well here you go pex user and then you're gonna use the uh, the, the squiggly bracket bracket with then name and then the closing squiggly bracket and that'll duplicate their name for who donated pex username group add and super awesome rank of godliness and I'll just abbreviate super awesome rank of godliness Sarag alright and let's say we also want to give them their benefits and say they get ten thousand dollars in game cash well what you can do for that since you already have essentials is eco give name ten thousand dollars okay all is good make sure you check the servers box make sure it's in the category sometimes I forget but that's not a big problem you can just drag and drop and you'll click add package but I'm not gonna do that alright and then that'll add super awesome godliness to the ranks packages and as you can see I have all these and basically you go into your game which I exited out of sadly and it will show all of these in the uh, slash buy command all right so I'll go ahead and log in here maybe maybe there you are alright and then like I said you do slash buy and then say super awesome godliness is one you do buy one and that'll generate the link they'll pay for it they'll the commands will be executed immediately and you're all set alright something more that I want to show you one last thing that drove me crazy was Votifier Votifier is something you wanna enable to your server if you really wanna add traffic and basically okay this is links on signs so here's how you vote oh and I forgot to turn my chat back on here's how you vote you click that link well and that'll take you to planet minecraft which is always down hopefully it's not right now here we are alright 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then one two three four five six enter in your name and this is Votifier it read it recognizes your name it recognizes the server you voted for and then it'll add a um, hundred dollars account to your account or whatever alright now from there I'm sorry Lederpy I'm not I'm, I'm not able to talk right now alright so 
in order to do that, first of all, you need to install Botifier, which is another plugin to your server. And I'll go ahead and show ya real quick. All right, so here I have Votifier. You're going to go ahead and go in there, and then you need to add a listener. Now, to do that, you need to find a specific one online. And this is what I found to be the best because it's really simple. It's the Warius execute command listener. You go ahead and put that in your listeners folder through the upload. And then go ahead and go to your commands edit those and then you can see that it will broadcast that DG7 Fender voted and received a hundred dollars see you did that and then press enter and next command will be eco give DG7 Fender because that's the name a hundred dollars alright so what you gotta do hey he likes my skin I like it too so what you gotta do is and this is really confusing but bear with me you're gonna go into the config and there will be a key and I can't show you my key it suggests that I just don't show you my key so I'm never going to you you can torch me all you want but you're never gonna see that so you're gonna get your key and when you're signing up for a voting site like say mindstatus.net it'll ask you if you have votifier let me just log in real quick. It'll ask you if you have Votifier, and you say yes. Yes, I do. Because I'm awesome, and DG7 Fender told me how to do it. All right, so when you're adding a server, okay, you're going to name your server, use your address, and then go to your port. But I need to manage my server to show you what I'm trying to do here. Duh, where do I go? Edit. There we are and then you're gonna go to Votifier. Don't look at it! Stop! Stop it! No! Okay, I don't, I don't care. So, your Votifier port is very important. Um, basically, you wanna go to that email you got at the very, 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 very beginning, and you're going to see available ports your game server can use. And what you can do with those is you go into the config, and it'll say port, Put one of those ports in, okay? Put one of those ports in, and then where it says Votifier port, that's the port you, you want to use. And make sure that this is your IP. And then you go ahead and test Votifier. If it works, hunky dory. If it doesn't, comment on the video and tell me what, what's your problem, and I'll make sure I get to you as soon as possible. Okay, and then once you save all that and somebody votes for your server on mine status, which is um, this one. All right, I got it. All right, so once you go ahead and vote, it'll do just the same thing. Okay, quit eating by me. It'll do just the same thing that Planet Minecraft did. It'll allow you, or it'll give you a hundred dollars in broadcast, and that's really all there really is to making a functional server. Make sure you get World Edit, World Edit, World Guard. If you need another tutorial on that, just ask. Um, all kinds of fun stuff here. Alright, so, I guess, thank you guys for watching, there's not much else I can give you or offer, unless you just ask in the comments, so, I believe that'll be just about it, thanks for watching, check out my server at nvb.com, not the letter N, not the letter V, but NV as in I envy you, nvb.com, uh, worked pretty hard on this server, pretty new to Bucket as well, trial and error. But that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time.